Ghana, the gateway to Africa, is home to 29 million people. With the recent discovery of oil, plentiful arable land, exponential growth of SMEs and industrialization, Ghana is set on a path of economic transformation. How does Ghana sustain this growth in line with the concept of green economy and the global target of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius? With SMEs contributing about 70% to the GDP and constituting more than 85% of businesses in Ghana, an effort to make the business of SMEs green will without doubt ensure a green economy and green growth in Ghana. The Ghana Climate Innovation Center seeks to do just that by nurturing and supporting a number of profitable, environmentally friendly businesses in Ghana. GCIC believes that good business can also be green business. GCIC demonstrates this by discovering green entrepreneurs who are developing profitable, locally appropriate solutions to climate mitigation and equipping them with the knowledge, skills, and tools to turn their ideas into sustainable businesses. GCIC focuses on solutions in the areas of energy efficiency and renewable energy, solar power, climate smart agriculture, domestic waste management, and water purification. From inception to date, the GCIC has chalked significant milestones in these areas and more. So far, 1.63 million US dollars in cumulative revenue generated by all GCIC businesses, 83 businesses supported, 27 of which are led by women, 127 jobs created, 57 of which are female employees, 1,129 empty CO2 emissions avoided, and so much more. The GCIC entrepreneurs, equipped with the knowledge and skills from GCIC's incubator program, are contributing significantly to the economy and the preservation of the environment. The cost of feed is high in Ghana. Um, farmers production over 65% of their production cost goes into uh, the provision of feed. And most of our feeds are imported from uh, other parts of the world. And that increases farmers production costs and uh, their returns are not uh, attractive. So what we do at Need Eco Feed is that we mop slaughter waste from abattoirs uh, within the region and the other parts of the district and we convert that to produce uh, maggots. They are cheap and they are rich in protein. Uh, they contain about 65% of protein, and that is very suitable for poultry, for fish, and for pig reproduction. Uh, over the past one year, we've been able to mop close to 15 tons of waste from these slaughterhouses, and we've converted that to produce this cheap feed that is suitable for poultry production. Uh, in one of GCIC's uh, uh, incubation lessons, we learned of the circular economy and that is what we are applying to our operations. We'll be able to uh, produce compost out of the production after the production and harvesting. The leftover, we, we bag that as compost for sale. We were recently recognized by the Financial Times and the International Finance Corporation in the UK for our excellence in circular economy, and that is inspiring us to do better. Most of our forest cover has depleted, and uh, we're left with 1.5 million, which is still being argued. What is the next alternative? And that is fast, and that can be a good replacement in quite a few areas. And we think bamboo can be that replacement. We're into bamboo charcoal production. We are into bamboo plantations as well. And um, we are bamboo fuel brand is called Green Fuel. It's important to reduce the 20 million ton consumption of charcoal uh, by replacing it with other um, non-timber forest products. And so we champion that in every way, 
with bamboo as our lead because we need to reduce that 20 million tons. And um, if we can, we'll be a much more greener country. Our soils will heal better, especially when we are using bamboos because it will take toxins out of the soil and replace it with good nutrition. Our farmers will benefit from a better ecosystem for everything. Hope Givers Social Enterprise is the name of a group of ladies in Ghana that have chosen to best represent their new social enterprise adventure. So here at Hope Givers, what we do is we process shea nuts into shea butter as well as natural oils from neem seed, baobab seed, hibiscus seed and then um, castor seed as well as cosmetics. In our production processes, we generate tons of waste. So we further had to convert these tons of waste into organic compost for organic farmers. So with this, we have been able to engage about um, over 800 women in the share industry. And these women have gotten an alternative employment aside um, farming. Without GCIC, a majority of these businesses would have remained undeveloped ideas. There's a Ghanaian proverb that says, which loosely means, it is when you climb a good tree that we support you. We've begun a good journey. Now, we're counting on your support. Wofro Diapa 